rolling. Sweet. All right. Just got something really exciting in the mail. I recently did a Kickstarter with Seb McKinnon uh, where he does limited edition play mats, cliches, prints, and it's the only time he'll ever produce them. So if you don't get in on it, you don't get one of these mats. So pretty cool. Uh, just one of the things that comes with are these little certificates of authenticity so to speak as you can see there's a number and a total run for each one gives you an idea there's quite a few of them that I purchased I purchased six different mats two of them are actually going to another owner and then I, I got five for myself so here we go we're gonna take a look for the first time and for those of you who are not familiar with Sam McKinnon's art I'm sure you'll recognize excuse me, recognize it pretty quickly. He does some unique things like with this one. Uh, I wish I'd actually gotten this one, but this one's going off to another party. So he signs it here in the bottom, but Seb's art is very whimsical, very fun, uh, very colorful. I mean, with here for the Flooded Grove, or I think this one's actually Sterling Grove. Let's see. Yep, Sterling Grove. So this one, and then, I mean, you, you can see the, the arms and it almost looks like hands branching out. So they're really, really colorful and exciting. This one is one that I really liked. Um, let's see, this is the Playmat for Ventral Rebirth. You can see that. I mean, his art is just crazy cool. Just love the colors, the, the fantasy type, you know, almost like a fairy tale. This is one of my favorites. This one is my favorite. You'll recognize this Chalice of the Void. This was originally done for the online version for Magic the Gathering Online, and then recently was created for a uh, judge promo. Uh, this one's actually extremely cool. Uh, just as you can see, this the rusted sword and like this ancient table with with all this growth on it, and then just the chalice kind of turning into a vortex of sorts and almost like sucking you in. Um, people will recognize this one from the current standard environment that nobody likes, seemingly. <laughs> this is the art for Growth Spiral. It's upside down, let's get the right side up for it. As you can see, it's just extremely beautiful, the, the, the art that he creates for these um, one-of-a-kind images for the game. So it's one of my favorite artists in the game currently. And it's really exciting to, to have even a little piece of his artwork. He doesn't really do much traditional work. He did early on and, and he does with the cliches. He'll embellish them a little bit on the back, but 90% of his current art and, and all the current art that he's doing is is uh, tradition or not traditional, it's digital. So Here's another one that we got a couple copies of, one for myself and one for another uh, person that I helped get into the into the Kickstarter. So th this one is um, Deliver Unto Evil. I believe this is from the War of the Spark set. Again, I'm not as up to speed with all the set names as as I once was, but again, this is more about the art than than about collecting or anything like that. So I'm just trying to share with you some of these cool mats. Again, he signs every one with, with various colors depending on the color of the mat so it sticks out. I really love this, how the, we've got Bolas and then the the guild pack all kind of bowing to him. You know, you've got Jace and Chandra and Gideon and, and uh, Ajani all paying homage, it looks like, to Nicol Bolas, who's just looming over them with a giant vortex in the background and this little cityscape. And again, the art's just amazing. And last but not least, I'm sure you'll recognize this card. Again, we have the uh, little proof here for Assassin's Trophy. Now, there's a lot to this card that you'd miss or this art that you'd miss just looking at it on the card. Not only do we have this huge 
angelic or maybe even a sphinx statue that's being corroded and we also have like a cathedral of sorts and other ruins and just overgrowth happening on this this piece of art and it's all blown up and you can see even in the background it's like a cathedral setting as well so the, he just has so much more detail that you can't get just looking at the art on the card at least not typically without blowing it up and that's one reason I really wanted to get these play mats is they're in my mind a step above a print a mo more some people might appreciate a print more but I I like having something that I can actually sit down with and play a game with and, and, and admire the art while I'm playing. So, um, If you didn't make it on this round of Seb's uh, Kickstarter, I'm sure he'll be doing more. Um, he typically does one every six months to a year, it would seem. Um, and he's got several pieces of art that weren't included in this Kickstarter that I'm sure will be in the next. So, Pretty cool, and uh, if, again, if you weren't able to make this one, I'm sure they'll There'll be some of these floating around, but you can't get them any other way. So watch for his next Kickstarter.